stock market app and it shows the current Google stock price and it goes to Yahoo to, to do it. And what I want to do is just change my app so that it, it lets the user enter a stock symbol and instead of getting Google stock it, it, it gets that. Okay, so I'm going to add a horizontal arrangement and then what I really want to do is add a text box. Okay, and this is where the users can enter what stock symbol they want. Okay, and I'll stick my button right next to it. So it'll be side side by side, okay. And you know what I want is, you know, by default we're going to get the Google stock. So I'm going to leave that as the, the default value. Um, but then the user can 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 change what's what's in there. And the hint for this text box is going to be please enter a stock symbol, okay. And it, and when the text box is empty, that that will that will appear, okay. So I've got my UI kind of set up. I'm going to rename this text box symbol text box just to give it a descriptive name. And that's going to be whatever stock symbol the user enters in this text box. We're going to use it in our, in our code. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the blocks. Um, as you can see, we, we go get Google stock. The way this API URL works is there's a parameter called S, okay? And for symbol, right? And and right now it's fixed to Google, so we're gonna have to fix fix that. All right. And our request is gonna change now. Screen initialize it when the app starts. We're indeed gonna go get Google stock information. Okay. But on the update button, we're gonna make it so we're gonna use the user's information. And so what I'm gonna do is grab a join block um, from the text area because we need to kind of we're gonna build this URL. So this is the request we're sending to Yahoo. And you know the first part of it's going to be almost like it was, but we're going to get rid of that specific part about Google. So I don't want my symbol parameter to be Goog. I want it to be whatever is typed in by the user. Okay. Um, so we're going to join the fixed part, and then the the dynamic part is going to be the text property of symbol text box. Okay. So when the user clicks update. We're going to cobble together this URL with whatever symbol they entered, and then call web.get. Okay, um, let's let's try this out. So, you know, one way to, to get the app to start, um, you, you, to restart from from zero, is to just change some font size or something. So I'm going to change in the designer the font size, and that'll get my app, at least my testing. You know, my phone's projecting on to to the to the screen here. And that's what you're seeing. So now my app just restarted. So I'm going to touch the update button. But first, I'm going to, as a user, I'm going to enter another stock. So I'll enter IBM. Okay, let's check out what IBM's value is. So I click on update, and now I show IBM stock information. Of course, I could enter another stock, like I'll just put Goog back in. And if I hit update, it'll go ahead and show me Google's again. Okay, so we've now got this this stock app which I can the user can enter any symbol and see see what the stock is.